again. Uh, kamusta po kayo lahat diyan mga kaibigan? Uh, mga kabonsai natin diyan ano? And this is Reynold, your backyard artist. And today I have prepared something for us uh, to learn something again and to new more techniques kung paano po natin uh, iti-take care po yung ating mga halaman or bonsai trees. Right, so, but before that, uh, I would like to greet anyone, uh, everyone, to a happy, blessed Lenten week, okay, and I would like just to share uh, a small uh, word from the scripture in John chapter 19, verse 30, so, sabi niya po dito, no, when Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, it is finished, and he bowed his head head and gave up his spirit. Okay, so uh, this was the time na uh, when Jesus was being crucified and ito po yung last word na sinabi niya, it is finished. And uh, a lot of people misinterpret or often uh, wrongly quote about this verse. Ano? And gusto ko lang i-share, ano ba yung uh, ibig sabihin ng it is finished? So, you know, uh, si God, when he start something and he, he is able to finish what he is what he started okay and doon po sa sinabi niya it is finished ibig sabihin uh, it is completely done lahat po ng uh, cement God, Jesus was sent by the father and all the things na the father wanted him to do it was done okay it was completely done and when he said he, it is finished, ibig sabihin po noon that the, the sin of the world was paid in full. Okay? Uh, binayaran po ni Jesus lahat ng kasalanan natin and he paid the price, the penalty. He penalized us, us from our sins. Instead of us being crucified, siya po yung na-crucify. So it is completely done. Ibig sabihin, wala na po tayong uh, iisipin just to trust and put our faith in Jesus na yung kasalanan po natin ay binayaran na po ng Panginoong Jesus. Okay? It was completely paid. It's not just uh, done completely, it was completely done. When you say completely done, Jesus was complete. Okay? He is more than willing to give His life because of His love, to give His life as a sacrificial for all of us. To pay the penalty of our sins. And uh, Jesus was in complete obedience to the Father. Okay? With this task. With this mission. Okay? That the Father wanted Him to do. That is to save the world from sins. And si Jesus po. Okay? When He said, it is finished. Okay? Uh, he wants us to experience the fullness of life. He wants us to experience having relationship with Him. And He is on a mission, knocking at the door of our hearts to complete that mission that for us to be able to come to know Him, to accept Him as our Lord and Savior and put our wholehearted trust and faith in Jesus alone. Because the Bible says, He is the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through Him. So when it is finished, wala na po tayong dapat uh, bayaran. Binayaran na po lahat ng Panginoong Isus. Yun po yung ibig sabihin. I hope we learned something about the scriptures. Blessed Lent week. So, okay. So, ang topic po natin ngayon sa ating... Uh, uh, pag pagbobonsai it's about grafting. Bakit kailangan ba nating maggrafting? Okay? So bakit kailangan po nating maggrafting? Yung po yun. But before that, uh, gusto ko lang pong encourage kayo na uh, mag-subscribe sa mga hindi pa po nag-subscribe, mag-subscribe po kayo, Batang Noypi, your backyard artist. Okay? And press the notification button para po ma-update po kayo, ma-inform kayo. Okay, ma-aware po kayo pag may mga bago po tayong learning videos in how to take care of bonsai. Okay, so our topic today is about uh, grafting. Ano ba yung grafting? Okay, grafting is combining two different plants. 
Okay? To be connected together, to be in one single plant. Yun po yung grafting. Okay? So, it's combining two different plants. Hindi po ibig sabihin ito combining two different species of plant. But combining two different plants. And I have here with me a tamarind tree. Okay? Ito po yung tamarind tree. Right? Uh, this is six years in the path training na, no? Oh, magsi seven years na. Alright? So, this is a large tamarind tree. So, kung makikita nyo po, bakit kailangan pong mag-grafting? Alright? So, dito kasi, kung makikita natin, ito yung first branch, ano? Okay? Ito yung first branch. At makikita natin dito, yung space between the first branch, the trunk, the space of the trunk, doon po sa, papunta sa apex, napaka uh, luwang. Wala pong, wala pong tumubong branches. Okay? Wala pong tumubong branches. In years, wala pong tumubo. So, kailangan po natin yung grafting, grafting technique para po magkaroon po siya ng second branch po dito at third branch po dito at all the way to the apex maging kompleto po yung branch niya. Okay, so uh, nag-prepare po ako ng uh, three different plants kasi dalawa po yung igagraph ko, no? So, ito po, itong, itong prepare ko pong mga plants na to is uh, uh, from seed, a tamarind, same species po, okay? So, nakita nyo po, nakatanim po sila sa Okay, sa sa plastic po no, nakatanim po sila and stable na po sila. So, i-graph po natin sila. Turturuan ko po kayo paano po yung proper way ng pagga-graph. So, kung makikita po natin, right? Ayun. Ito po, graph ko na po ito, okay? All right? So, makikita natin ano, ah, uh, nakadikit na po siya. Ito na po yung branch, no? So, 'yun. Green up ko na po yan. Ang tawag po dito, uh, uh, Sion. Yung igagraph mo pong ano, uh, stem or pl other plant is Sion. Okay? Ang tawag po dito is rootstock. Pero dito makikita natin, hindi ko po pinutol yung basta stem na i-green up ko po. Okay? So, nakatanim po. Dalawa pong rootstock natin dito. Yung, yung main bonsai tree trunk natin, may rootstock. At saka yung gigraph natin, may rootstock. Para mas mabilis pong mabuhay. Alright, paano ko po siya ginawa, no? Alright? Paano ko po siya ginawa? Ito po. Tuturo ko po sa inyo. Okay? So, ito po yung isa, no? So, uh, mag, ang gagawin po natin, eh, uh, mag-i-incession po tayo doon sa bark. This is a bark uh, grafting, uh, bark grafting, or side veneering bark grafting po, no? So, makikita natin dyan, Gamit ka po ng knife, right? Mag-i-incision ka. Right. Yan po. So, you'll just make an incision like a canal. Right. Then after that, okay, the other plant, okay, the sion na ididikit mo to be connected to the bark, kung ano po yung uh, stem or trunk stem, trunk stem na ididikit mo, ang gagawin mo po is you have to peel off. Yan po, ipipeel off nyo, no? Yan. Peel off yung side which, uh, You want to be connected doon po sa trunk. After you peeling off the bark of the other plant, then, ididikit mo po siya. Yan. Kitang-kita nyo po, ano? Nakadikit na po siya. Alright? After niyang makadikit, gumamit ka po ng grafting tape. Alright? Grafting tape. Yan. Yan. Yan, grafting tape. At balutin mo po paikot. ikot. 
right? So, it's really important for you to make a clean incision, okay? And connect it properly to the bark. Then, wrap it with, uh, completely wrap it with grafting tape. Then after that, Okay. Lagyan mo po siya ng wire. Right? Yan. For it to be secured, then after that, in a Five to six months. If 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 your grafting, what you did is clean and tama po yung ginawa mo sa paggraft. It will in five to six months. It will completely heal. The wounds will completely heal. And these two plants, okay, will going to connect with its other it will completely heal then it will fuse together then later on paano natin malalaman okay bend natin siya ng konti dito so makikita natin alright so makikita natin yan yan na po yung magiging second branch nya first branch second branch pag nag heal na po siya nag fuse na siya mas magiging paano natin malalaman in 6 months mas magiging mataba na po itong nasa taas kaysa po dito sa uh, uh, trunk niya, main trunk niya na kung saan siya nakatanim. Pagka nangyari po yun, pwede mo na pong putulin dito. Okay? At meron ka ng beautiful uh, primary branch. So kung makikita natin, alright, kompleto na siya. May first branch siya, may second branch. Ito po yung third branch. Okay. Ito po yung third branch. Alright. Nasa back. Okay. Yan. All the way to the apex. So, complete, kompleto na po siya. So, that's it. Ano? So, I hope we learned something to today, this morning. Okay. This is a one way of doing a simple grafting. Kung pwede ba itong i-apply sa ibang species ng tree? Yes po. Pwede po. Simple lang po itong teknik na to at very effective po ito. Right, so sa mga hindi pa po nag-subscribe dyan, I, I would like to uh, ask you, encourage, please subscribe, batang noypi, or like and share, press the notification button para po uh, mas marami po tayong matuto sa pag-aalaga po ng bonsai. Okay, until the next video, God bless.